The key to connection is conversation. The secret of conversation is to ask questions. The quality of the information you receive depends on the quality of your questions. That is important in sales. However, it's a great educational experience. When I was a young woman, I was a hairstyling apprentice in the south of England, working in this very posh salon. And as soon as I got to know our rich, glamorous customers, I used to say, what were you doing when you were my age? How did you make your money? Did you make it yourself or did you marry it? If you made it yourself, how did you do it? If you married it, where did you meet it? Good market research. My brother Robert Fripp is always saying, Sister, you ask people such personal questions. In 24 years behind a hairstyling chair and decades of attending meetings and conferences, sitting next to people on aeroplanes and at networking events, nobody has ever said, that's none of your damn business. Because people love talking about themselves when they can tell the person asking question is genuinely interested in hearing the answer. When I was in the financial district of San Francisco in a men's hairstyling salon when that was a new industry, I used to ask, what made you the top salesperson in your company? What did you do with your little company that a big company wanted to pay you millions of dollars? The key to connection is conversation. The secret of conversation is to ask questions. The quality of the information you receive depends on the quality of those questions. I would challenge you in networking events, prospect meetings, with clients, in fact, anywhere you meet a new person, ask good questions. I work on the principle, everyone is more interested in themselves than they are in me. And that is not a bad premise to work by. Certainly, you might have heard me talk about you-focused language in presentations. Certainly, the first time you have a prospect call, you need to be asking more questions than talking about your company. And then, whenever possible, put back their words into your presentation because your prospects and customers and clients will never disagree with themselves. The key to connection is conversation. And we are living in strange and uncertain times. And your success depends very much on the quality and quantity of your relationships. To be considered an interesting person be interested. Ask questions. This is Patricia Fripp. I hope you find this valuable. And don't ever celebrate closing a sale. Celebrate instead opening a relationship.